Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're in the skinning room here today. We're going to be making sausage today. Venison sausage and we're going to be making it into links and we're going to be smoking it on this uh, this video. What we have here is we have two hind quarters of a nice young deer. We're going to be cutting that up and we've got a pork that we're going to be mixing in with it to uh, give it its fat. We're going to take you on that journey and just show you what we do at Deep South Homestead when we make our sausage for smoking. All right, what we do is we just take and go ahead and cut it up into cubes. About that size right there. Just something other that'll run through the meat grinder real easy. You want your meat to be frozen just a little bit because it cuts so much better when it's kind of half frozen. Makes it a whole lot easier to grind everything. Not frozen solid though. Just nice and chilled down. That's what you're after. Right, we've got the pork and the venison cut up and put in the tray. We've got the pink salt right here. Uh, Instacure number one which is sodium nitrite. We have that at a rate of one teaspoon per five pounds of meat. And we have the Old Legs Plantation Seasoning. Uh, I believe this is number number 10 if I'm not mistaken. I always bought the number 10, Old Legs Plantation number 10. That's what you see sprinkled on top of it here in a minute. We're going to be uh, uh, mixing it up good, and then we're going to run it through the grinder. Alright y'all, we're starting to grind now. we got our jalapenos all mixed in with it. Kind of dropping it off in there. You see the jalapenos coming out in it there. This particular order, they wanted hot sausage, so we're going to give them some hot sausage. We're grinding through the large quarter inch hole plate first. As it comes out, I kind of spread it around in there and mix it to make sure the seasonings all get kind of mixed around in there good. We're going to grind this twice. The first time we're grinding it through the large plate. The second time we'll grind it through the finer plate when we go to stuff it into the casings. All right, we've got our warm water running. We're running water down in our casings here. That's the proper way to do it. Kind of rinse them a little bit. It kind of helps to, with the uh, process of making sausage. It makes it a whole lot simpler. You can pick it up and make the inside of it a whole lot easier when you wash that salt out of them like that. This is a tricky part. Just getting them up on this tube here. All right, we're getting our casings up on the stuffing tube here. Getting ready to start stuffing. Make sure we get plenty of it up on there. See if we can get it all on here. All right, when I get down to the end like this, what I'll do to start out with is I just go ahead and tie me a knot right here in the end of it. Push it on up on here. That's all we are to it. Now one thing I want to mention, and we'll run some warm water in this pan, because we've learned if you keep warm water in the pan while you're running sausage in it, you can sprinkle it up on the casing here and it kind of helps keep it pliable.
We will leave these overnight and we will smoke them in the morning. Okay, we got our fire kind of going here now. For our smoker, we're going to be shutting it down a little bit, letting it. First of all, we're trying to get us a bed of coals to start with, so that's why we're throwing everything in there to get us a bed of coals. So we're going to kind of kill it back just a little bit. We're using red oak in this this morning because we want to. I like the red oak taste on my uh, smoked sausage. Okay guys, we got the smoke rolling in the smokehouse this morning. We're gonna be getting the meat hung in here now. Pipe number one, headed to the smokehouse. Jalapeno smoked sausage. Rack number two going in. All right, smokehouse is full of sausage. We got approximately 30 something pounds of sausage hanging there. We're gonna see if we can get this process underway. All right, we got the smoke, a billering in the smokehouse on a nice cold morning, 38 degrees, perfect, no wind. We're doing good so far. Okay, it's been two hours now. I'm gonna kind of look in here and just kind of get an idea and see how the sausage is doing. Oh yeah, you can see it's, it's dripping nicely. A lot of the fat coming out of it is getting good and smoked. We still got three or four more hours to go. You can see the steam rising off of it. So it's uh it's heating up nicely. Look at the steam rising off of that sausage. I'm trying to keep a good heavy smoke going in the smokehouse here and looks like we got it going. We'll come back in another hour and All check right, it out. We've got our sausage smoked here. You can look at the mahogany color of it. It is so pretty. We've been going five hours now and we're fixing to take it out and go wash it and Get it ready to uh, put in the freezer. All right, we've got our sausage. It's been smoked, and we're what we're doing now is the next phase. We're running cold water over it to cool the internal temperature down, and we're washing it because anytime you smoke anything, it'll get a little bit of a, a smoky uh, film on it. I like to wash all that off of my sausage, and it's running good old cold tap water in here to kind of help cool the internal temperature of it down pretty quick before we go to bag it up, because if we don't, we bag it up, it'll go to sweating. And uh, I don't I don't like that. It, it messes up with the sausage as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we've got our sausage smoked. We've got it washed. We've got it dried. We've let it air dry now. It's cooled for about an hour. It's dried off real good. You can see how it done got good and stiff. Done got the little wrinkly look to it there. Nice and cold. This is the inside texture of it, a good smooth inside texture. It's not grainy or anything like that. Now, this is a jalapeno sausage, so it's going to be some real good, nice stuff. What we're doing is we've got these bags here. We're putting five pounds, I write on here five pounds to the bag, and we're cutting it all to a certain length for it to fit in this bag. And then when the gentleman picks it up, he will be able to vacuum seal it in whatever length. 